Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson. This is Two Guys Outdoors Wyoming. And I've got another product review for you guys today. This is the Brunton Flex Collapsible uh, Stove. Now when you get your Flex, it does not come with an ISO bottle, but I have it in there to demonstrate how this system goes together. So I have a, a can of Brunton fuel, and you have this nice little mesh storage panel here. Right? So your fuel canister comes off, and then contained within this little nice little pouch, you kind of flip it around here, open it up, and there is your stove. Now this is quite a piece of work. I'm very, very impressed with this stove. I've used it several times now, and I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, one thing I love about it is the fact that it is a fully collapsible stove. Uh, very, very simple to use. Very simple to operate. I mean, I can get all this stuff open one-handed here, except for that one last one. There we go. So construction of the stove is aluminum and steel. <clears throat> of course, you have your anodized Brunton aluminum down here. Uh, you have a little collar right here, which is what allows the stove to snap into place and then also to collapse. Your pot holders are made of stainless steel. An excellent little design. They actually work really well. They give you a very large surface area, you know, for your stove or for your uh, your pot and your, you know, whatever your cooking device is to sit on. And of course, snaps up. Again, standard little O-ring. Um, effective, good on-off valve. Very large burner head. Uh, I really do like this burner a lot. It has great. Uh, Great heat distribution, good BTUs. Um, specs on it say it runs at 12,000 BTUs, and I would believe it. So you can see it's just a, a really solid, really good little camp stove, and I love the fact that it folds up and then just goes right back into its pouch. You do have to kind of work to get it in there a little bit, but it's neoprene and a mesh nylon. Put your uh, fuel canister on there. All right, pull it up tight. It has little loops here so you can pull it up around. Put those over there. The other nice thing about this is when you integrate it with the IB cook set, the whole thing just drops in your cook set. And uh, because that neoprene sleeve on there doesn't rattle around. So I can pretty much have my entire cook set meal kit all contained into one unit. I can throw my can stand in there as well. Put the lid on the whole thing and I'm good to go. Add a squishy bowl to it which I can stuff in there and I'm set. So all I have to do is grab my spork and go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a water boil test because that really is the true test of these things. Is how quickly can you boil water? So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up real quick. Show you guys here. Sorry, I'm getting the stove out of the pouch off camera here. So we're going to go ahead and snap our stove open. Pull that out. Stick it onto our fuel canister here. Okay, I just heard it engage. Okay, so we have fuel. Pop this out here. Alright, you can light this with a ferro rod. Um, most of the time. I just use my lighter. You can see we get some pretty good flame there. You have pretty decent control. I don't know how much fuel is actually left in this canister, so we'll find out here. We're going to use the small Brunton uh, IB cook set. Let me get some water 
put in there. Actually using that platypus that I, uh, platypus plus bottle. Yeah, about 500 milliliters. That ought to do it. That's pretty standard for cooking. Alright, so we'll set that on the burner, turn it up a little bit. Now, I don't exactly have a stopwatch anywhere, so we're actually just going to go ahead <clears throat> and use the stopwatch that's on my phone. So I'm going to set that back up here. We've got it running. I'll move the camera angle around a little bit. And we're going to put the lid on. Now I am at 5,300 feet elevation. So, you know, it's going to take a little longer to boil stuff, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, you guys know, there's the stopwatch running at 25 seconds right now. Uh, since you probably, you know, find it sitting and waiting for water to boil about as exciting as I do, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off and uh, bring it back, show you guys the stopwatch uh, when it starts boiling. All right, so we're at three and a half minutes here, and we are starting to get a simmer. So, not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, so we're <clears throat> five minutes, 45 seconds, about six minutes, and we have a good solid rolling boil. Go ahead and turn off the stove here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's a good little stove unit. I mean, under six minutes we had a boil at you know 5,300 feet elevation. So that's the Brunton Flex. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll catch y'all later.